pop up there as well would be piano. So let's go ahead and get this thing started. One versus four, two local guys, both from here in the state of Washington. One from Lacey, uh, the other one from Edmonds, Washington, both not too far away. And we'll get the kickoff and we've got the first possession of the game. And the first possession will start with young Kiv with the rock and he's got Mike Vick in the gun and he goes out into the flat. Ooh, the receiver gets down, avoids the hit there. Yeah, he just goes for the A catch right there. And that just means the possession catch. He hits the A button to make a possession catch, go down to the ground, prevent the big hit from uh, coughing up the football. Young Kiv in the white, piano in the dark, Seahawk blue there. In the gun for Vick. Motions his uh, tailback, Coleman over to the right side. You got twins to the left and twins to the right two receivers on each side there calling out his plays and we, we talked about this both guys are really good offensively and there is Vic hitting is that Jerry Rice across the middle coming across that shallow cross there? it is indeed and you notice of course a lot of people forget Mike Vick is a left-handed quarterback that is an adjustment for these players you wouldn't think about it when you're controlling them but when you're when there's the difference between backpedaling and running forward uh, right-handed and left-handed quarterbacks that makes a huge difference and you have to adjust you have to learn how to play with Mike Vick since he's a left-handed quarterback is this like the 2004 Mike Vick right here this is the good one this okay. is this is the <laughs> only one to have right now the 98 <laughs> overall this guy can make all the throws he's also got the gunslinger ability which yes. means he's gonna throw oh fits it in there to his back Coleman and you Tempe see it right there. The he's, yes. he's got a cannon of an arm, and he gets special animations where he's able to throw the ball on a rope deep downfield. So you're going to see less wind up on a 50-plus yard throw. How many guys have the uh, gunslinger ability? It's just him and Rodgers, maybe? No, no, him and Farm, there right? Are a few, there are a couple now, okay. but uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, he's uh, you know, Brett Favre was the first one to have it, and then they added it to Mike Vick. Michael Vick going beat. down the middle, and he's got his receiver. Got Brown coming across the middle there into the red zone around the 10-yard line. Big chunk play right there, AJ. Yeah, and Mike Vick making a big throw there to Antonio Brown, uh, picking up the first down. But as you can see right there, he throws just a cannon on a rope uh, deep down the field, up the seam, picks up the first down. First and 10, Kev moving the rock. He told me before the game, his strength is passing. He's clutch with stops as well. Got four good receivers. He's got Mike There Vick. he goes. And he runs and he fakes him and gets into the end zone. And we've got our first score of the game. Mike Vick into the end zone, a 15-yard scamper. Young Kev, uh, the young man from Edmonds, Washington, right outside of Seattle, 20 minutes away. PAT is up and it is good. Young Kev up early, 7-0. And you see right there why Michael Vick cost so much of your cap he can make all the throws and he can run he's got the juke moves he's got the agility he's got the speed that is why you have to sacrifice to put him in your roster because he can do it all the guy is absolutely very difficult the most difficult player in the game to stop wow that that says a lot about mike vick and you think about him being on the cover of madden and yeah you think about the, the those falcons teams in 04 05 06 you know the one on the road at green bay because of the things that uh, a special young michael vick version back then was able to create for the Dirty Birds in the ATL. Here's Piano coming out, running the rock, and he's got Lev Bell. They're off the left side. We'll give them about seven on that play, second and three, AJ. Yeah, Piano runs that Rams offensive playbook. He's got the Browns defensive playbook. Uh, he says we'll be seeing a lot of the tight offset tight end from his play. He likes that a lot uh, because it he gives him the opportunity to give a, lift, a lot of different looks from that one formation. So we'll see that a lot from him today. And uh, he's probably going to run and pass uh, pretty evenly out of it. All right, young Kev with the lead, 7-0. He's in the white jerseys on defense, on offense in the dark. His piano back to pass. He likes to run, but he's trying to pass. And his quarterback, oh, breaks the tackle there. He takes off running and gets to the outside and gets a first down, a pickup of about six. Good running there by Danger Russ. Yeah, and you see all these uh, 12s in here excited to see Russell Wilson making a big play in Madden Ultimate Team. And right there, he's got the 95 overall Russell Wilson item in, at quarterback. He shrugs off a potential sack. That is his agility rating coming into play right there. He shrugs off the sack. He scampers for a first down. Going to give a little secret to all you Seahawks fans. When people play in the Challenger events like my events, they all they have to play regular head-to-head. -head. The most popular team by far are the 12, the Seahawks. That's the most popular team when people play head-to-head -head is the Seahawks by far. 
First and 10 there, a run up the middle, and he picks up enough yardage for the first down, A.J. Seahawks are popular throughout the United States. Yeah, absolutely. When you got teams like the Seahawks, uh, even the Raiders have become popular yes, because of Falcons, guys. Falcons, Steelers. Yeah, Falcons, Steelers, uh, you know, especially uh, even the Vikings because of guys uh, like Anthony Barr. Barr. Anthony Barr, one of the most popular players to use or control at linebacker True. in Madden Ultimate Team because he's got that speed. So you want to get guys with defense. Defense easily the most important thing the Seahawks the real Seahawks know that well yep uh, you got the Legion of Boom behind them and uh, so that's exactly what you want in Madden as well Lev Bell taking it off the left side from Russell Wilson uh, that probably a none yard game maybe he lost one there so now we got critical first critical play we've had early on in this game third and 11 piano down he's got to keep the ball here because he knows Kib's gonna move the ball and throw that rock all around the lot yeah, he does. Nice little pass there to Le'Veon Bell, who finally gets out of bounds at the 43. But he's doing well. He's doing well moving the ball methodically down the, uh, the field on this first drive. But he's looking at a fourth and six, and he's going to go for it. Just want to remind people, we're yes. playing Madden. Five-minute quarters, you're going to see a lot of uh, fir uh, fourth down attempts playing Madden because you've got less reps to work with. Wilson fakes the handoff, back to pass, and he's got a receiver there to the right side on the corner route, and it is caught by his receiver, Antonio Brown. Guys, 12s, business is booming, according to Antonio Brown, right? Yeah, that was a great catch, nice little corner route, throws it up to his receiver, comes down, both feet in, uh, hangs on to the football, and picks up a first down. Aggressive on catch there, Antonio Brown's not a big guy, he's like my size, he's 5'10", so that's pretty good for uh, AB there. Yeah, good catch, good job on the aggressive catch. Uh, you know, you've got three options, as, as I said earlier, with your catches in Madden 17. You can go aggressive with the Y button. You can go a rack catch, a run after catch with the X button. And then A, will get you the possession catch. And you want those on the sidelines, in the end zone, back of the end zone, stuff like that. Uh, or over the middle when you're trying to avoid a big hit. Important play there for Piano. Gets the ball near the inside the red zone. So he's in scoring territory now. And Madden, you're going to have to match scores and try to get crucial stops on defense, just like I guess you do in regular NFL football. It's about red zone defense and getting stops and seeing if you can get off that field and limit teams to field goals. Here we go. Important third and one now for Piano driving. Uh, what do you do here? Do you stay on the ground, which he's really good at, or do you try to surprise him here, AJ? You know, sometimes you uh, you got to surprise him, but I think he's going to run this one. Uh, he's got a lot of guys. Let's see if Kiv has a run defense to stop this one. Wow. He does. He's got a good goal line stop. Uh, right there to prevent the first down. But like I, like you were saying, red zone, it starts to get stingy in there, just like the real NFL. These guys usually have their regular playbook or their regular plays and formations that they call, and then they have their red zone formations. And those are the ones that you have to uh, make use of because it is difficult to score once you AJ, get AJ, he's the going for it. If you're scared, go to church, folks. He's not scared. Fourth and one. Play call here. He's got trips to the right here. He got one single receiver on the backside. Got his tail back behind him, fourth and one here, and we've got a flag. Was it offsides? It was a delay of delay game. Of it looks game. like he's going to take a delay of game. I don't take know it. if that was intentional or not. Probably. Uh, giving himself a little space here, going to kick the field goal. Uh, so he takes the fig right there. Uh, I don't know if that was intentional or not. I'm assuming he just saw the look. The young kid was showing him on defense, didn't, didn't like want to risk it, didn't want to waste the time out. Uh, so he just decides to take the penalty and kick the field goal. 31-yard field goal up, and it is good. 7-3 ball game as we move to the second quarter now. Second possession for young Kiv uh, in the white jerseys there, out of the end zone, and whoo, boy, he's seeing slobber knocker You know, right I'm there. so surprised how many guys decide to take it out of the end zone. Maybe you're just feeling lucky. You got a guy like Deion Sanders back there. But let's remember that if you kneel it in the end zone, it's at the 25. Now he's starting at the 23. I'd like to see more guys take the fair catch in the end zone. First and 10, Kiv in the gun. He's gonna sling it, he's got Vic, and he's got a little shallow cross, a little out route there. Antonio Brown cannot hold on, so we move to second and 10 now. We can see if Piano can bow his neck on defense and get a stop. Yeah, he's in this tight formation. Young Kiv running everything out of that tight gun. Second and 10, Vic in the gun. Once again, receivers on two sides. Uh, two receivers on both sides of the ball. He's got the crossing routes, and that's there all day. Hits the old man, Jerry Rice, Rice the goat there. Uh, nice little pickup of about 12 yards there. Yeah, big pickup. He beats that coverage. Uh, read it like a book, and a nice little under route uh, to Jerry Rice. And you definitely want Jerry Rice in your roster. That guy can make all the catches. He's got some speed, and he's got those hands. A lot of crossing routes and a lot of those dots on the 
flag pattern there, the uh, great catch by Kiv, and he's moving the ball. And when you talk about Kiv now, he's got the great passing attack. Four great receivers and a quarterback that can get it done. Going to be hard to stop, AJ, for Piano. Yeah, young Kiv, uh, he's got Tevin Coleman at running back. That's uh, probably the 95 overall, Tevin Coleman. But he, uh, he, he likes to invest in his wide receivers and quarterback. Yes. You, you know the young kid is going to throw the ball. He throws the ball like 80, 90% of the time. So he invests in his wide receivers. And as you see right there, he's got Jerry Rice. He's got Tim Brown. And Mike Vick at quarterback who's scrambling Mike with Vick this one. Mike Vick takes off again, wisely slides there to uh, avoid potential danger, possibly fumbling. I'll tell you what about Deion Sanders caught the last pass previously before that. He's holding that ball like a loaf of bread, like prime time <laughs> used to, right? That is exactly right. He does hold the ball just like Deion Sanders did, uh, used to do when he ran with the football. So you got to be aware of that. It can be punched out. Uh, so, uh, But that's what you get. That's the sacrifice you make when you get that speed and agility at wide receiver and cornerback. Playing both sides of the football, there is a out-of-position Deion Sanders that will allow you to play him at wide receiver because Deion Sanders did line up at wide receiver some, some, sometimes in his NFL career. So we allow you to do that in Madden Ultimate Team as well. Kev with the handoff there, gain of about one uh, on the run for uh, Tevin Campbell there. Uh, Coleman, excuse me. Tevin Campbell, that's a senior, right? It might be. It I might be a, 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 a 90s R&B yeah, singer. It might 90s be. 90s R&B, and I'm the king of R&B. I should know that. <laughs> oh, Mike Vick, that is an incompletion, not a fumble there. Third and goal here, so an important series here. Important down for Piano. Uh, of course, got the name because he played the instrument growing up. Proficient piano player. Proficient. Uh, his wife and new child are here, a six-month-old, are here watching uh, today, and they're out here supporting piano in this match tournament. He says he doesn't get to play as much. He doesn't get to lab as much. Doesn't get to practice as much. He, he plays about one uh, to two hours, one to two games a night, depending on how much time he has. Uh, but he's still able to play at this high level, and he wins at a very impressive clip. And he was able to bow his neck, force a field goal attempt, and it's up and it's good from young Kiv. So Kiv now, 10-3 to three ball game, second quarter, 249 left to get closer towards that two-minute warning. And, and there's your your fair catch there. There's your kneel down, your touchback, and he'll get the, the ball and start at the 25. Uh, second possession for Piano, he'll start from the 25. Trying to get this thing rolling, likes to run the rock. This gets set up well for him since he likes to run, take some time off the clock, maybe score right before halftime, and now we've got a tie ball game going into the half. First and 10, oh, Russell Wilson hit as he's throwing, and that's considered an incomplete pass there, almost had the sack. Uh, for Kiev playing really well on defense. He talked about that was one of his weaknesses, defending the blitz and also picking it up on defense to try to get those stops. So far, so good for Kiev. Yeah, young Kiev has, has played really well so far in this game. I, I want to give props to Piano on that last drive, holding Kiev to a field goal. Uh, young Kiev can put up points. He is obviously ranked number one in this tournament. Uh, he is the top seed for a reason, but Piano does a great job stopping him there on that last drive, and so he gets to take over and try to tie this ball game. Second and 10, play to the flat there, trying to pick up some yards, get some of that back uh, for third down. So we're looking at third and five here for Piano. Tick, 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 2.30 left in the first half. 10-3 ball game, young Kip in white uh, with the ladies on defense. Piano with the ball on offense. And he's got his receivers to the left-hand side. The trip's over there, looking rust. Hits left bell, and that's a short gain, gain of about two or three. So we've got another fourth down here. And yeah. if you're piano, what do you do here? Do you stay yeah. aggressive and go for it? or you I think he's going to go for it. I, I think he's got to go for it right here in the first half. Like I said, uh, you've got limited position, uh, possessions, and young kid can score almost at will. So he wants to put points on the board. He likes his chances with a fourth and three. Most of these guys have played enough online games. Piano played 151 games just to qualify in the ladders for this tournament to make it to Seattle. Uh, so I, I think he's got something up his sleeve. He's got something. Just depends on if he can make the read and make the throw. All right, here we go. Fourth and three, and it looks like he is going for it. Two-minute warning, 10-3 to three ball game with Young Kiv leading. Piano driving, and he's got a huge fourth down. He's, oh, he missed his receiver right over the middle. That's going to hurt. That's a turnover on downs. The ball's going back to Young Kiv. Oh, boy. 
Yeah, he was looking for his tight end, Jordan Cameron, over the middle. Looked like he threw the ball. There was a little bit of pressure coming in. It looked like he threw the ball just before Cameron was making the cut. If he'd have waited, like, literally milliseconds uh, later, he would have had that completed. But just short uh, and just out of reach of his tight end. Young Kim in business around the 32-yard line, driving in. Just the first down, and he's near uh, the red zone there. And he's got Mike Vick back. Plenty of time. Only a two-man rush there. You got to spy the linebacker. Plenty of time for Mike Vick running. Look, he's not running. He's just standing. And finally, he's got a receiver. Oh, but it's way out of bounds there. So, Piano changing up strategy here, putting a lot of coverage behind him. Nine guys back there in coverage. Yeah, I don't particularly like that approach. I think, Mike Vick, you have to put pressure on. He's got... Uh, he's got the ability to run the ball. I'm actually kind of surprised young kid didn't just take off right there He had some spies, but Mike Vick with the right stick skills you can juke out the spies uh, So I'd like to see him since a little more pressure that prevent defense if you give young kid enough time He's gonna find somebody open you wonder if both guys are looking at the clock Maybe kids trying to run some off maybe pianos like you know what let's just get aggressive here across the middle aggressive catch and it's a dot as he hits the post there across the middle, touchdown for Young Kev. And Young Kev now opening up a two-score game, pending the extra point. And it is up and good. Young Kev with the lead, 17-3, to three, with the buck 40 left in the first half. Yeah, and we talk about guys going for it on fourth down. That didn't work out for Piano on that drive. And, and those are the downsides of go for it, going for it on your side of the football field. You give Young Kev great field position couple throws and he's in the end zone now he's got a 14 point lead all's not lost though for piano down two scores if he can score here likely will get the ball back in the second half i do believe that is the case there so in the dark jerseys here's piano and he's going back to what got him here and that is ground and pound right up the middle there for his offense yeah out of the gun tight that time he runs the football uh, looks like he's going to audible back into that right now. He does have Le'Veon Bell. Le'Veon Bell can break one, but uh, it, it hasn't been fantastic so far. Eight rushes for less than 50 yards. Third and one now. Was not able to pick it up. Once again, off the handoff. Oh, and he's met in the hole by Sherm. And, oh, here we go. I didn't think he got the first down. Fourth and one now. Another fourth down. The third one for Piano. I believe he's 0-2 on fourth downs now. Needs to convert this badly or this thing's going to get out of control. And it just may be Katie bar the door. Takes the hand off up the middle. Bell dives across the first down line. We'll pick up three there. Tick, 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 tick. Time winding down in the first half, AJ. Yeah, I like him going for it there. Uh, he's in a tough spot down 14 nothing with just over 10 minutes left to play. Uh, you can imagine that uh, a real NFL team would do something similar potentially when you're uh, down by 14 with only 10 minutes left. But, uh, you know, let's see if he can score some points on this drive. He's only got 52 seconds left. Dangerous. Wilson, plenty of time. Oh, a defender barreling down. Tries to hit that corner out for Ed McCaffrey. No dice there, as you can see. Russell Wilson, 4 of 8 right now, completing uh, just four passes, 37 yards. Got to pick that up, being down. And that's a concern for a lot of guys that do a lot of the running on offense. You get behind, how do they come back? Yeah, you've got to have something for when you're down. you got to have a comeback offense. Uh, you know, we saw in some of our previous games, guys who like to control the clock. Uh, Cody, he came in, did not, was not able to, once he fell behind, come back. He didn't have anything up his sleeve uh, for that defense, especially when guys are able to just go into a conservative zone coverage or conservative prevent defense. So when you're up by 14, you can kind of do that. You have the luxury of kind of backing off a little bit and making them beat you with a deep throw. Uh, 41 seconds is still plenty of time, though, for Piano. He's got two timeouts. Third and four. Oh, left bell running hard right at the first down marker. Are they going to give it to him? No, they won. So the fourth, fourth down for Piano early in the first half. And Boy, I tell you what, I, I love how EA has done a great job modeling these stadiums. I mean, look at that. I mean, look at CenturyLink Field looking beautiful there. You saw the Hawks Nest, the 12s going crazy there with the uh, the fans into it there. But I tell you what, fourth and one here. He's going to hit the swing pass. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. The trip. Oh, and he's tripped up by Sherm. And we've got another turnover on downs. Young that is Kev's a, got the advantage. That's now. a little bit of a wacky play. You don't typically see that a ton in these tournaments running a, a halfback screen to that, like that. Uh, but he tries it, he attempts it, and if it weren't for that shoestring tackle, he might have broken for a first down. I would have liked to have seen him run the ball there. He was oh, running the ball well enough 
Uh, and Le'Veon Bell can break a lot of tackles. You saw him with that strong stiff arm on the run before. Fourth and one, I don't know, but uh, you know that's what he tried and it didn't work out for him. So good field position now for young Kiv. It looked like he almost stumbled before the shoestring tackle, like it was a, a double hit there. Vic looking back, oh, and he's brought down and sacked. I'll tell you what, Piano needed that desperately. Uh, down by 14 points, a 17 to three score uh, with 21 seconds left in the first half. Third and 19 coming up for young Kiv. Uh, gonna reach into that playbook there and see what he can come up with. He's gonna go trips to the left this time. They motion back to the left-hand side. One receiver on the right-hand side. You got Vic in the gun. Tailback offset to the left side. Vic with plenty of space. Oh, and what a dart and a dot to the left-hand side over there. And he hits his receiver. First and 10, he's in business out of school. Yeah, he hits Tim Brown with that one. That's what makes make Mike Vick so good, too. He can roll out to the right, turn around, turn his, uh, adjust his body quickly, and then throw the ball across the field. That gunslinger ability allows him to get the ball out extremely fast, which makes him harder to sack, too, because he's got you've got less time to work with on defense. He's able to get the ball out and let loose of the football much faster than most quarterbacks. First and 10, Kiv moving the ball from the 32. Vic back there, plenty of time, only two rushing. He's got a spot, but plenty of time. And he hits the receiver, he's got Rice underneath, get down. Don't wanna fumble the ball. Gain of about nine, they're close to a first down. Uh, and now we're, we're under 20 seconds to play, under five seconds to play, fourth. Uh, second and inches, four seconds left. It's time to go ahead and try this PAT, uh, the field goal. And it's going down at the 29, so about a 39-yard field goal attempt. It's up, and it is good. Right before the half, Kiv gets a field goal. He's up 17 on a great first half of play, AJ. Yeah, and we're just going to jump right here into the second half. So huge uh, drive there by young Kiv to put some more points back on the board, pick up another three points as we take a look at the 12s here at the Mopop Museum. Uh, so good drive there by young Kiv to take a 17-point lead here, and that makes it three possessions. That's big. Yeah, you can see the 12s, they've come out in full force here. A lot of those fans are still trickling in here into the Museum of Pop Culture. Uh, we've got hundreds of uh, Seahawks fans inside here of the museum. Uh, a great place here, a great venue with this huge projector behind us as well. 33 by 60 feet and uh, video games, pop culture, entertainment, Star Trek, Star Wars, Nirvana, Jimi Hendrix, guitars all over the place, uh, lots of different items here inside of this uh, wonderful venue here uh, next to the Space Needle here in the rain city of Seattle. So you've got Piano with the ball, down 17, he's trying to hit a receiver, and he's got big Ed McCaffrey there. Was he able to hold on the former Giant and Bronco there with a the great catch? Yeah, huge catch there as we were talking about Ed McCaffrey, the legend, uh, legend Denver Bronco, of course, I remember watching him play. Six foot five, that's why guys like to use him, put him in their lineups, because you want that height. That six foot five makes a difference at wide receiver, especially in one-on-one -on -one situations. And he hits a receiver, that's little Brandon Cooks right there, down the left seam. So Piano, in business now, needs this drive, he needs a touchdown. Uh, field goals will not help going, coming back into this comeback mode that he's in. So uh, he, he's moving close to the red zone, inside the red zone, and he runs left bail to the right-hand side. Uh, nothing doing there. Yeah, Le'Veon Pell usually has the ability to cut back inside, but he closed all the lanes right there, talking about closing the gaps. And, uh, you know, young Kiv locked them all up right there, closed all the gaps, and uh, prevented him from running for more than a yard. You, you speak about lock up. I'm going to give you another Madden turn. Okay. Piano, yeah, no, it's time to lock up, right? It's time to do something with these sticks and, and get lock back. Up. Lock, lock, up lock, up. On, lock up on those paddles right now, the left and right paddles. <laughs> That's what we call the controller. So, yeah, th these guys are playing at an extremely high level. They're making adjustments, uh, you know, off the radar almost that you're not even seeing necessarily. A lot of audibles and hot routes that these guys are able to do playing Madden at a very high level. Up, and the receiver can't catch it. Went up top in the middle of the field there. So, once again, the fifth. Fourth down for Piano, uh, yeah. and at some point he's got to start converting all of these or it's going to be a long day. Yeah, I'd like to see James Piano uh, get something that doesn't require him to pick up a fourth down conversion. He's had a couple, but I'd like to see him pick up a first down on third down or, or something, or second down at some point. Maybe even a deep throw on first down for a touchdown because he's using every single down, and right now he's just going to take three. Uh, I'm not too sure about that. That does cut it back down to two possessions, but... 
Uh, it's a tough break when you're just held to three right there. Two-score game. Kibbs going to get the ball back, we think, unless there's an onside kick. It is kicked off, and it's deep in the end zone, and, and that's going to come out to the 25-yard line for uh, Piano. Look, I don't mind that. I think you do kick the field goal there. You need to point to the board. It's a two-score game yep. now. But going forward, it's it's time to go ahead and get aggressive now. Yeah, I can totally understand taking the field goal there. You're trying to make it a three a two-possession game. It was already a three-possession game. So even a touchdown would still make it a two-point or two-possession game. Uh, but now he does have to score a couple of touchdowns before this game's over. So Kev in the gun and he hands off to his uh, tailback and it's Coleman off the right side. Minimal gain there of about we'll give him two. Second and eight for young Kev nursing this 14 point lead. Nephew Kev, you're playing well offensively. You're scoring pretty much every time you get the ball. How do you go about it? Do you stay aggressive? Do you try to uh, take some air out of the ball and out of the clock? Absolutely. You never stop trying to score points. I don't think he's going to. Uh, you know, he's not going to risk. You don't want to risk turning the ball over. Uh, but with Mike Vick, it does give you a lot of options, and we've seen it already. And I think he is going to continue to throw the ball because that's what he does. That's how he knows how to play offense. You know, he's not going to run the ball, just run the ball and punt. He doesn't need to do that. He's going to keep throwing the ball because that's what he does. Give there with the uh, nice hookup with Jerry Rice out there. Not always Tim Brown, actually. And, and a great break, broken tackle there to pick up the first down yardage, the necessary yardage there. So on to first and 10 for Kev. He's in the white. Piano and the dark blues and got Mike Vick once again in the gun. You got twins to the right, twins to the left. Oh, we got a motion to the right. Now almost tripped, but it was a running play. Good job bouncing it up on the inside. The receiver trying to get that crack block there and, and get something going, blocking on the inside there, a gain of six. Yeah, that's one thing. Uh, you talk about the, the whites and blue uniforms there. The Seahawks have so many uniform combinations, it's almost hard to keep up with sometimes. Everybody's but my the favorite, my favorite, my favorite has got to be those color rush green yeah, ones. absolutely. Uh, those things were pretty sick. So, I, I, you know, I thought one of these guys might have gone with those, but we're going with white and blue today. Yeah, no grays so far, just white and blue. Uh, none of that Seahawk uh, green with the color rush there. Uh, for the 12 so Mike Vick back and he's oh what a catch was it some toe drag swag there I think he I did I think he did and he caught it there once again on a dart from Mike Vick yeah they're gonna mark both feet in he does pick up the first down on that catch and like I said the possession catch on the sideline you want to hit the a button on those sideline throws so that your wide receiver will attempt to drag both feet and keep him in bounds first and ten Kev once again on the move with his offense Known widely throughout the community as a guy that can move it offensively through the air for a really good wide receiver, spent some money on his receivers and on his quarterback, and that's what he's rolling with. Yeah, he absolutely did. He's got Mike Vick and those uh, wide receivers. His favorite player, Young Kiv says, is Deion Sanders on defense, though, because he can take away pretty much any route uh, or receiver in the game and just man coverage. So he likes to man up Deion Sanders on defense and so far it's worked well for him. Hasn't given up a touchdown yet to Piano in this game. Once again, Vic to Sanders. A little out route there from the slot. Uh, beautifully thrown there. Picks up another first down and once again Kiv continuously uh, marching it down the field. Very hard to stop with that passing game and mixing in some timely runs as well. Yeah, young Kiv only been playing uh, Madden since uh, competitively since Madden 15 and if you remember Larry Madden 15 had Richard Sherman on the cover on the and then cover. of course the Legion of Boom in the game at the main menu so uh, that probably motivated him a little bit to start playing competitively in Madden 15 but uh, only been playing a couple of years competitively and he's already one of the best in the world. Mike Vick avoids the sack and the fumble there that's an incompletion there uh, for Piano bringing some pressure and if you're piano, you can't sit back and, and die by a thousand cuts. You have to kind of make your own breaks here and be aggressive and go for it, right? You got to start bringing some pressure. Yeah, I think it's tough because sending those blitzes, Young Kiv is so good at picking those up. He didn't fare as well uh, in the Madden Bowl at picking up the blitzes. Uh, Skimbo was able to get to him a lot. But uh, he's been good so far against these competitors today at picking up those nickel blitzes. So when he can pick up the blitz, you're just leaving one to two guys in coverage, uh, out of coverage, and that leaves Mike Vick too much space to run. So I understand the dilemma the piano's going through facing Michael Vick. Speaking with Kev, that's what he told me about his weaknesses, defending, uh, most importantly, the middle blitz there. So you're absolutely right. He's done a good job of that early on, and in this semifinal there. Vick, plenty of time, back to the throw. Here comes the defender, and that's a sack there. Piano needed that, and he's going to get it. 
Kev, though, still in field goal range. He can once again make this a three-score game uh, if he decides to go for the kick here. And if you're Kev, you, you absolutely kick the field goal. Or do you try to get aggressive and maybe put this thing away? You know, I think, uh, I think it's up to him. He, he definitely already has the 14-point lead, so he's going to make it a three-possession lead. I think that's what he's going to do. Uh, unless we see another fake field goal, we've seen him once already today that uh, worked out against Young Kibb uh, for TT2-3 and a touchdown. But uh, you are able to run fake field goals in the game. He's going to take the fig right here and make it a three-possession ball game. But, uh, you know, I think Young Kibb played it smart there. He's just trying to hang on to this lead. He knows piano. Uh, can play really well, and he's still got a full quarter of football left. It's got to be uh, balls to the wall right here, right? It's got to be all out for Piano. He's got to go for everything. Everything's got to be aggressive. You might, yeah. you might, you probably abandon the run. You've got to throw it around the lot, and you've got to go with some onsides. You need three possessions here, and you can't afford to let Kiv have any possessions. Yeah, it, it's going to be tough to just throw the ball against young Kiv. You got to mix it up maybe a couple of times, but uh, you're right. He's got to pick up some points quickly as he scrambles around there with Russell Wilson before the sack. Uh, but just like that, Young Kiv sends that nickel blitz, and he's in the backfield pretty quick. Well, uh, if you're Kiv, if you if if you're Kiv and you're watching piano and he wants to run the ball, you're sitting back saying, "Go ahead and take these five yards. I'm giving them to you every time." Piano has to come back by throwing the rock. He needs chunk plays, uh, unless he can get a chunk play from a run, and I, that hasn't been there all game. But if you're Piano, you have to do just like, oh, great defensive play there by Kev. But you've got to go and put the ball in the hands of your playmakers on the outside. Yeah, that was that was tough. Nice play there by Watts swatting the ball down. Uh, that would have been six uh, yeah, for Piano. If he had yeah. put a little more touch on that football, he tries to gun it down the field. Uh, and I don't think he expected him to be that wide open in front of the coverage. But nice play there by Young Kid to swap the ball down. You can do that with the X button at home. If you're trying to just play conservative, and swap the ball away and not go for an interception, you can swat it down. And that's what Young Kid does. Nice play there by Watts. Oh, tried to hit Deion Sanders, but it's broken up there. As you can see, the 12s here. Make some noise, 12s. You're on the broadcast here on the Madden NFL Twitch channel. Also on Seahawks.com for this Madden 17 Seahawks Championship live here in the Emerald City of Seattle at the MoPop, the Museum of Pop Culture here right next to the Space Needle here near downtown Seattle. And here it is, fourth and 15. He's got to go over the middle. He hits his receiver, the running back out of the backfield, keeps his faint hopes alive right there on the fourth down completion. Yeah, that was fortunate for him. Le'Veon Bell hangs onto the football. He's got pretty good hands for a running back. Uh, you pay for that with the, you know, the 95 overall Le'Veon Bell. His pressure gets in from the defensive tackle and finds his way to Russell Wilson. So big stop there, another or another big sack there by Young Kid. Piano's just having a tough time moving the ball. He gets them in chunks, like you said, but he's not been consistent so far today. Three minutes, 10 seconds remaining here. Piano down by 17. Three-score game here. Second and 14 uh, for Piano in the, in the dark blue Seahawk uniforms there. And he's looking, hits a receiver on the outside. Uh, that's a game that, uh, quite frankly, Kiv would allow every single time. Absolutely. You're going to give him two, three, four yards every time right now because you know he only has three minutes left in this ball game and he's down 23 to six. You're going to give him those short routes. You're going to let him take those uh, and you're going to take the deep coverage. And that's what he's doing right now. Le'Veon Bell, again, underneath that coverage, that blanket uh, and that cover two invert zone defense that young Kiv is in right there. And uh, he just prevents him from taking a big chunk. He just wants to let him continue to move the ball, but chew up clock himself. Yeah, the problem with these teams that, uh, you know, that are run heavy, they get behind, like we talked about earlier in the broadcast. And it's just, man, it's, it's a rock fight for them to try to get back into the ball game. You see that in real football, too. I mean, we saw a guy earlier ran the triple option, right? And uh, he played well until he got behind, until he didn't play well. And that's what happens with these teams uh, that are run first. Back to throw, he almost uh, avoids the sack there. He almost got the sack, but he avoids it. Uh, and once again, hits his receiver. Once again, not very big on the play uh, as far as the uh, yardage gain there. And you look up at the clock, and you're looking up. He's had the ball, what, eight, nine plays? And he's just now at midfield. Yeah, he, I mean, he's chewed up about two and a half minutes so far on this drive, and he still hasn't uh, put six on the board. So he's going to have to put some on quick, but he's just giving what young Kiv, or he's just taking what young Kiv will give him right now. And right now that's not very much. He'll give him the three yards, uh, you know, those little, 
passes out into the flats to his running back, over the middle to his running back, but he's not going to give him much more. Right there, Russell Wilson with a nice run for a first down. Uh, but let's see what he can do here within two minutes. All right, as we hit the two-minute warning, Young Kiv, the number one overall seed here for the Madden 17 Seahawks championship, uh, up against the four seed from Piano. And, you know, when you look at it, 23-6, to six, you need chunk plays. At what point do you get aggressive? Where's the sense of urgency? At some point, you have to say, I've got to go and get it. It's not going to be given to me. I have to go and take it. You know, You're three scores behind. You have to go get it, right? It's tough, though, when you've got that secondary. Man, Ultimate Team, you're not looking at a typical NFL secondary. You're looking yeah. at all-stars lined up out there in safety, a cornerback. He's got Mel Blunt. Like, you've got Mel Blunt out there. You've got Deion Sanders out there. Uh, and another sack there. Russell Wilson taking another one uh, for Piano. A lot of these guys hoping Piano will come back in this ballgame and make it close. But uh, right now, he's just he's going to struggle because when you're going up against Richard Sherman, Deion Sanders, like some of these legend cornerbacks, it is really tough to break one loose and to get an aggressive catch against uh, one of these elite cornerbacks. Yeah, and the more you talk about it, you look at the way Piano's uh, offense was set up. You got McCaffrey out there. You got Sanders, who's pretty good. Uh, and you got Brandon Cooks, good guy too as well. But nothing that's going to threaten you, like you say, when you've got all pros, Hall of Famers in the secondary uh, for Kev. It, it does make it a little bit difficult to move the ball. I will give you that. That does make sense there. But like I said, at some point, you do have to get aggressive and see what <laughs> happens, right? Yeah, nice little play there. Uh, with that little route there by Deion Sanders up the sideline, he hits him. Deion Sanders hanging on to the ball with that left hand. You don't like seeing that. He could have punched that one loose, uh, but he does hang on to the football, and there's a touchdown to Jordan touchdown. Cameron. Yeah. So, Piano gets on the board. Here's you can see the 12s. A nice crowd here, guys. Make some noise for yourselves, guys. Get it up. Give it up for yourselves. Showing up here in Rain City at the Mo Pop, the Museum of Pop Culture. Fans are still showing up. I see a, a good 500 to 1,000 of you, it seems like, right in here uh, inside of, what is it called? The Sky Church, I believe, right here inside Sky of the Sky Church at the Mopop Museum, like you said. You've got uh, a lot of pop culture exhibits. You've got a video game exhibit in here. You've got stuff on uh, rock and roll, the grunge scene, and all that kind of stuff. So basically, basically the only questions I can answer correctly in a game of Trivial Pursuit. That's what this museum is all about. <laughs> It is pop culture, and pop culture includes music, uh, video games, entertainment, you name it. Uh, also got the We Are 12s uh, exhibit here as well, where you've got the Lombardi Trophy. It's in right. the house. You can go see that here inside of the Mopop here, the Museum of Pop Culture, uh, a venue I've gone to for the first time when I got here, and uh, I cannot rave enough about it, uh, what Mr. Allen has put together here and the Seahawks organization with this museum. Very, very cool here uh, to see some of, some of the artifacts and things hanging from the roof and some of the exhibits. Yeah, you can definitely tell uh, this is Seahawks country right here in this uh, Mopop. So it's exciting. Let's see what young Kiv can do with the football. He has all his timeouts, but uh, Piano only one remaining here within the final minute, and he's going to call that last one, Larry. Uh, it'll be interesting to see what he does here on fourth and seven well if you're kiv you, you don't want to be too cute now look you got a 10 point lead it's fourth down you don't want to give the ball away try to run it try to pick up some yardage protect the football but understand it's only two plays and he's back in this ball game so piano's not out of it by any means but maybe kiv's thinking he can't get the chunk plays he, he can't move down the field in in two or three plays and score it's gonna have to take him eight nine ten plays and that's not enough time to uh to uh, to force that comeback yeah that was almost a close one there is mel blunt almost ran underneath the football potentially could have caused uh, a turnover there basically ending the game uh giving young kid the win but you're right you know when you've got less than a minute it's going to be tough to put uh, 10 points on the board to try and tie this game before it's over. We'll see what Piano can do here on this last drive, though. First and 10 for Piano in the dark blues. Trying to come back. Still a two-score game, and uh, he's faking the handoff, and he's got Russell Wilson. He takes off, and he'll pick up about nine, uh, and more importantly, stops the clock. Yeah, I, I don't hate that play at all. He decides to run the ball with Russell Wilson, get out of bounds, just shy of the first down. So second and one gives him a little more space to work with. You're not as afraid of potentially giving up a safety and ending the game. So Russell Wilson scampers for uh, nine yards, and uh, that gives you a little more space. Second and one for Piano. 
Looking, Russell Wilson, plenty of time. You got to throw the dot down the field, but he takes off and instead picks up another 10 or 15 yards. Uh, I'm looking, you got you to make it happen. Yeah, you, you have to make it happen. You got to throw that ball down the field. But he lives to fight another day. And with 35 seconds left, still enough time to have, you know, five, six plays left in this ball game. Yeah, I guarantee you what Piano's thinking right now is if I can just get seven right now, then I have the opportunity to go for the onside kick and then potentially who knows what happens. Take a shot into the end zone. Oh, uh, there's a there's big a sack. Big That's going to hurt. That will hurt there with uh, no time left and the time is ticking, 28 seconds left. It might get to the point now where you throw a, a deep pass and you try to get out of bounds and kick a field goal because you need two scores. You need both. You need a touchdown and a field goal. Russell Wilson hit as he's throwing there. That pass is incomplete. Now you, you, you're, in, you're in trouble. Yeah, <laughs> you, 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 need, trouble. you need the 10 points either way. So you need the onside kick either yes. way with no timeouts. Uh, taking the sack was absolutely the last thing he wanted right there. That so hurt. now he's looking at third and 19. Yeah, that, that hurt there. For Piano, third and 19. Looking across the middle, get down. Now maybe kick the field goal. Tick, 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 tick. Not enough time. There are no timeouts. Or is he at one left? No timeouts remaining. No timeouts, yeah. Piano. You, you, got, you got to kick. You, you, need both, you need two scores. I think he's out of field goal range here, yeah. Larry. So he's going to have to just take a shot, try to make this respectable. But this ball game is over. Throws it up into triple coverage there. And it is to incomplete. Ed McCaffrey, yep. Good and game, though, by Young Kev. Game. Young Kev with the win, uh, a 10-point win, uh, pretty much in control throughout the contest. And he moves on, as you can see, the sportsmanship. That's the one thing we do like about these Madden 17 competitors. Uh, really cool as far as sportsmanship. Young Kev moves on offensively. He's going to be a bear to beast. I mean, to stop and, 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 come, and, and try to yeah, control. Yeah, I mean, he's going to face uh, one of these other two guys in the semifinals in the championship game. So Kev moves on the top seed. Uh, he's trying to represent Seattle well, and he's doing good so far. Mike Vick has been an absolute bear in that offense for him. Uh, you know, a lot of us second guess taking using that much cap space on just one player, but it has worked out incredibly well for him. He knows how to use that quarterback. He knows how to play with him, and uh, so far, so good. Great game. Got to give props to Piano for making it this far, yes. earning some extra series points as well. As, as we said, he was ranked 33, so he's trying to get into that final 32 and make it to the Madden Championship in May. Well, it'll help if you get into those challenger events. You got one coming up March 18th as well, my event in New Jersey. So you get to these events, every little bit helps, folks. 5, 10, 50, 100 points, whatever you need to get into that Madden Championship Series. So let's send it over to Jackie Montgomery. She is standing by. She's got the Blonde Bomber. Young Kiv moving on to the finals here of the Madden 17 Championship. Jackie, take it away. Thanks, Larry. I like that. The Blonde Bomber. All right. Well, congratulations, Young Kiv, on winning this semifinal round. First stop, how's it feel to be one step closer and making it now into the final? Um, it feels really good. Uh, I thought I played really well, and um, if I continue to play that well in the finals, uh, I feel like I have a pretty good shot at winning this whole thing. Let's talk about how you made up your roster. You went out on a limb and spent a lot of cap money getting Michael Vick, and we clearly saw why. He was making some big plays with his legs and with his arms. Uh, Vic, he's really good at both sides of the ball. He has very good throw accuracy, very good throw power, and he has that speed. So whenever he didn't uh, have a spy on the field to contain Vic, I was able to get uh, good crucial rushing yards on like third downs. And um, I think I got one big uh, run actually to score a touchdown right after. Let's talk about on the flip side of the ball, your defense coming up with some big stops as well. Whose defense did you, did you try to uh, get your strategy around and what worked so well for you? Um, my defense is uh, strategized around um, block sheds and then uh, just coverage D, really. I want to get Reggie White, Clowney, uh, Charles Haley. I want to get them sacks. And then if I can have Sherman and Dion make some stops on receivers, then uh, I can get those stops. Well, we heard all these 12s make a lot of noise when Richard Sherman had that shoestrings tackle for that big stop there in the third quarter. Now. You're from Edmonds, got to talk about the Seahawks. You're a Seahawks fan. How long have you been rooting for the Seahawks? Um, I first started to root for the Seahawks in 2005 when they made the Super Bowl run and then lost to the Steelers. And uh, I've just been like a fan. Yeah, i just been a fan since. Uh, I just uh, love the culture and uh, I'm from Seattle. So that's really, I'm just always a fan of the Seattle sports teams. Well, congratulations on making it into the final. Larry, AJ. That is Jackie Montgomery.